everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. I hope you guys are enjoying what we're doing so far this week. Um, we're back here with my year 2017 and what we're gonna do today is um, I previously called it a lesson it's not really a lesson okay this is just let's let's call it an exercise and these are really sticky and I'm not quite sure why but uh, we're gonna call it an exercise huh must be I thought for some reason these are sticking together I'm gonna figure that out right there on the edge anyways um, all right so originally I called it a lesson it's not really a lesson this is just an exercise now what I did yep I cut it out or I tore it out I tore out my, one of my first girls that I drew okay and what I'm gonna do we are just gonna cut her out and we're gonna put her on this one page <laughs> she cracks me up <laughs> That's too funny. All right, we're gonna have to cut her off a little bit so she fits on the page. Okay, so here she is. I'm gonna glue her down and then what I'm going to do is on this next page, I'm gonna draw her again. So we can see where I came from and where I am at this point. So. Let's hope this turns out, <laughs> turns out decent. <laughs> if I'm in the mood to draw, that is. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and get her put down. And this is, you know, this is what I'd like you guys to do this week. I'd like you to go back and find an old piece of art that you did. It doesn't have to be a face. It doesn't, you know, it could be a landscape. Um, it could be, uh, you know, something that you drew of your, your puppy dog or your kitty cat or anything. It could be anything. All right, so let's go find an old piece of art. So we just put this in here, and I'm going to date this because this was this one's not dated, but it was 11 of 13. So November of 2013. All right, so we dated that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a face. Now I've got just my regular, I love these pencils. These pencils are from Mayped Helix. Um, they're Mayped pencils. This is my favorite pencil to use. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oops, where's the name? And they have um, black. I can't tell what that says right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, probably not. But anyways, they're from Mayped and it's just an HB2 pencil. And this is one of my favorite pencil. Um, and I also have, this is a, a Stabilo, which is a um, water-soluble graphite pencil here. I have my smudger. And for the water-soluble graphite, I have a water pen. All right, so that's what I'm going to be working with. And I don't have any eraser. I don't know if I'm going to need one. We'll find out. And probably not. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on this gal's hair. Now, apparently, I wanted her to have her hair back, so we're just going to, I don't know how big I want to make her. I want to work on her face. Let's see. Right now, I'm just doing a, a real rough outline of where I want her to be, just to get an idea. Okay. All right, so we're just going to kind of, all right, let's see, we've got to rise here. So I'm just, if you hear any humming in the background, that's my ice machine, just so you guys know if you hear it. Okay, that's way too close, so let's just see. And even now, you know, even though it's been a few years, it's still, you know, it takes some doing to try to figure out where you want, you know, your eyes to go and where you want. Okay, let's do this. Let's do the lips right here. 
Now I'm sure some of the people are saying, why'd you start with the eyes? Well, why'd you go to the lips? Because I felt like it. Um, so I'm going to have the nose right here. We're going to do up, down, up. And her nose is not cut straight with her face. All right, I need to stop talking and think about what I'm doing. Okay, sorry I'm not talking and I know it's quiet, but I'm just, I'm working on getting her down the way I want her. So we're just working on that a little bit. All right. All right, so basically what I've done is I've got her face. Now we're just going to round her up a little bit here, mess with her hair. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going over this with graphite, and I'm going to play with it. So let me um, let me go ahead and do that. And this hair has just got to go. And we're going to finish drawing her. I'm going to put you on fast forward because I know it's a painful process for you guys to sit here and watch me. Um, which I totally understand. So I'm going to put you on fast forward. We're going to go ahead and we're going to draw her up. I'll be right back.
right, so what I did is I just did a quick sketch. Now here's the before, right? This was back in 2013. And here is today. Here's today. So is there a possibility to grow in your art? Absolutely. So I'm going to date today's. And it is... 5.30 of 17. So now you know what day I recorded this video. But anyways, so I'd like you guys to do this. I'd like you to take an old piece or a, uh, you know, a, a previous piece of your art. It doesn't have to be the first thing you did. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything crazy. But I'd like you to go back and take that piece and work with it. Uh, redraw it or recolor it or... Uh, repaint it however you need to do so and just look at how far you've come look at um, the difference that you know your time will make and practice and again you'll you'll find out that um, things change and and the more you do the better you get all right so again, this was just a quick sketch. It's not something that I'm going to worry about, you know, all of the details, that kind of stuff. I did do the same. I did the lips, the nose. Her nose is crooked. <laughs> she must have had a broken nose. And she looks terrified. <laughs> her eyes, she just looks terrified. But anyways, um, so I did um, just re-sketch it. And I think it's really cool to look at the different examples and see how far you have actually grown in your art. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. Please don't be shy about showing the good, bad, and the ugly. We've all been there. And if somebody says, I've never drawn, you know, I, I just come out drawing like this, they're wrong. Nobody just starts drawing like crazy. You have to practice. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, lesson or um, what do you want to call it? Uh, prompt project whatever you want to call it a comparison um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and like I said I'd love to see what you do please don't forget to share as always have fun that's what life's all about happy creating and we will talk to you soon bye bye hey everybody I hope you enjoyed that video as always hit like share comment I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions um, and as always be kind have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.